I was looking through some videos that I had made over the years. And I have not made a leaf twig thorn video yet. And I've had the leaf for a super long time. Come on. First thing I'll say about the leaf thorn razor is that I had the leaf twig and the thorn. I got them at the same time. But when I did the mystery boxes, I was like, I'm gonna keep one of them. And I kept the thorn because I think it's more versatile. For me, when I say versatile, I mean, the twig is awesome if you shave every day. In the winter, I like to shave every other day or every three days. So having something like the thorn, where it's a bit more aggressive, I can get through more hair more easily with less passes using the thorn. At $59, the leaf twig, the leaf thorn specifically, is a solid purchase. It's made well. It's $59, so the price of entry is very low comparatively to other razors that I've been getting recently. It's cold. So at $59, the shade quality on this, it definitely hits above its weight. It's very comfortable in the hand. You only get to you only have to use half a blade, and it's really easy to change the blade. Once you removed your old blade, what you'll do is get a full blade if you want. They also sell the halves, the single edge side, that aren't broken, and Leaf provides those in your initial purchase if you like, and there'll be links below if you decide that this is the right razor for you. Yeah, you take it and you break it in half. Be careful, you don't wanna cut your fingers off, but you'll put it in there. Make sure to unscrew it all the way so that the top has room and you have room to put your blade in. Once the blade's in, you'll feel there's uh, magnets. Pretty freaking cool. Magnets are in there and you put the blade in, the blade holds to the magnets and then the top goes down and pushes it and creates that wonderful shaving experience. Oh yeah, beautiful. As I mentioned in the uh, twig video, if you've seen that, it's probably somewhere. Uh, and I'll probably link it at the end of this video. If you've seen my twig video, one of the takeaways for these razors is when it comes to shave and shave quality, blade choice is super duper important. I don't find that every blade works in it. The leaf blades are fine. For the thorn, I like the Astra Superior Platinums, the Gillette Nassets, and the Feather Blades. I find those to be the best ones for me, for my face, with the thorn. This brass finish on it is one that I picked. I like the prism finish that I had on the twig, but uh, I didn't want to get them both in the same color because then I would just be like, I don't know which one is which. For me, I've been shaving with this for, you know, six, eight months. With the way that the head is designed, it's very easy to find the angle and easy to get into a safety razor shaving, double edge shaving, wet shaving, traditional wet shaving. And I'd recommend this to somebody that shaves forever for a quick shave or somebody that's just new to the hobby or trying to get a better shave or a better way to shave your face. If you want to see what I thought of the twig, you can check that out here. If you want to see what I think about this here brush, it's a 22 millimeter synthetic brush from Phoenix Shaving, you can check that out there, hopefully, if the video is done by the time of release. Otherwise, if this is in the future, it's probably there too, but twig, brush, cool beans.